I remember hearing the Lord tell me to go close my bank account. And I was like, Lord, am I hearing you right? You're telling me to go close my bank account? And so I did. When I closed my bank account, I heard a door, like a prison door, boom, echoing real loud, shutting behind me. And I stepped out. And I felt so free. And I heard something from inside this seeming like prison or vault. And it was my straw man yelling, let me out too. Let me out. See, this is a voodoo that we don't even know is attached to us. Because they attached this straw man to us. From the day that we're born with this thing called a birth certificate. And he's there with us all our lives or we're there with him because I walked out of some place. A place. This is real. This this voodoo that our government do to us attaching our names to a straw man in all capital letters is very serious business. If you aren't loving someone that has uh, turned their back on these systems of this world and this government and done all that you can to help them without, you know, uh, stay charitable through these times. Stay loving through these times. Give till it hurt because uh, you're not going to benefit anything from all that you've gained. It is only only going to bring you to the bottom. It's only going to drag you to no man's land. And God's light is not going to be there. Um, I just want to tell you that this is the time of the apocalypse and maybe we all have been walking around like zombies since the day that we were born. This is when, um, necropolises and crocodopolis and labyrinths and what the chip means on your uh, debit card, uh, one way in, one way out. They, these demons, they real with it. And it's time to wake up and for you to get real with it too. Because this is not a game. They are so serious and everything that they do is with intent. Um, I hope I didn't go too fast because Crocodopolis uh, is a, Sobek is an Egyptian king who was a uh, half man, half crocodile. These spirits are real. They are born from the Nile. Um, they were what who Cain was talking about when he slew his brother Abel. He said, when I come, when I step out of here and I go into the world, they're going to kill me. They're going to accuse me. And the Lord put a seal of protection on Cain and said, they, can't, they better not touch you. See, we all want to make sure we got our seal of the Lord right now. We all want to make sure we got that same seal that Cain had. Because these devils mean business. And they lose in the end. And if you still over there with them, then you lose with them. All right. I just want to go real quick. <laughs> All right. I love you and the Lord loves you too.